He has, only, he has only half a minute, but yeah. uh, we have a point of order from the leader. I, I want to ask leader this of house. Majority, leader of majority party, what is out of order? Honorable, you know, Honorable Speaker, you know, the Honorable John Buddy has uh, mentioned me and the people of Kikuyu, and you know the people of Kikuyu are very dear to me. And besides that, I was in the office of Honorable Speaker listening to the contribution by Honorable John Buddy that is laden with a lot of misleading information, Honorable Speaker. And uh, I, I just walked back in uh, because part of what the Honorable John Buddy contends is that the people of Kikuyu will not be unable to pay because they are being forced to pay. They are not being forced to, to, to save. Honorable Speaker, the Honorable John Buddy is a seasoned accountant and a very experienced one like myself, uh, only that I qualified as an accountant before him. Uh, <laughs> the Honorable Bandy. Oh, the, oh, the Honorable Bandy. <laughs> you know, the, when, when I was a student at the University of Nairobi in 1996, Honorable Speaker, is when I qualified as an accountant. The Honorable John Buddy was a junior accountant at... Uh, the students' welfare uh, place there, uh, next to next to Hall Nine, uh, as a junior officer, and uh, he was not qualified. He He's only qualified later. Honorable, honorable Speaker, now, now what, 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 what more important, honorable, honorable Speaker, the Honorable John Buddy, as an accountant, knows that you will not today walk into a bank without any banking history and be afforded the opportunity to access credit. It is that that informs, Honorable Speaker, if you can protect me from the shouting by the Honorable Milio Diambo. And she gets accustomed to listening to when serious legislators like myself and Honorable John Buddy are engaging on serious issues, uh, then she may ha have the temperament to just listen. Because you, you borrow based on your credit history, Honorable Speaker, in the banking sector. It is that that this fund is seeking to achieve honorable speaker because when the bank asks you for your six months bank statements to be able to evaluate whether you can you can borrow money from them is because you have you have built some history it is that that the fund seeks to do by ensuring that people also are saving within the fund and i heard the honorable john buddy say that you are saving in amorphous government institutions if you are a member of a circle your savings go into your circle. The savings that you save, Honorable Speaker, we also is, is your money. You are not saving and that money going to government. Tomorrow you will not need to borrow. You just need to access your savings so, once you um, have repaid your loan. Uh, Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I just want to correct the misinformation because the Honorable John Buddy is an accountant. Accountants will deal with facts and figures. And he knows his facts, but he wants to play politics and Honorable Speaker, I'm sure it's good uh, to play Honorable the politics, you've made, but it's also you've made unfair to misinform the people of Kenya and allude to the fact that people are being forced to do this, people will be unable to pay, well, and I want, just want to inform him that the people of Kikuyu are yearning for this fund, and they will pay the loan they access. you've made your point that uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are indicating that uh, the Honorable Bandi... Honorable Bandy has only one minute. I am finding it very difficult, Honorable Junette, to give you a point of order on top of another point of order. <laughs> uh, you can, I, 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 I'll follow the rules of this house that I cannot have a point of order on another point of order, Honorable Junette. You have a point of information. So who do you want to inform, Honorable Junet? You have one minute to do so. Oh, so, so. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want to inform Honorable Mbadi that what the majority leader is doing in the floor of the House is very wrong. You stand on a point of order, then you start debating. We are not, this is not, we are under the standard.